Hey YouTube, I'm back. My bad. Camera difficulties and everything. I told you, I'm trial and error, trial and error. Okay, so this is like part two of episode two of the Pink Room. Um, and like I was saying before, I was trying uh, Indian food for the first time. Uh, the camera stopped when I started talking about the thumbs up, thumbs down situation. I think that's what I'm gonna make this topic tonight. Um, like I said, the basmati rice, which is the white rice. It is good. Uh, the masala is very spicy. If you like spicy, then you're going to love the masala. It's cooked with a yogurt base, so it's creamy a little bit, um, which added to the white rice. Um, now, uh, the chicken tikka, no, chicken biryani. That's, it. like I was saying before, it's like an Indian chicken fried rice, like how we got Chinese fried rice. It's like a Indian chicken fried rice, so um, with spices. Um, the samosa, that's this right here. Like I described it, like in the hood, we got patalitos and empanadas and stuff. You know, in in the um, in cultures, different cultures, there's always some stuff, some type of doughy, crusty stuff meat. So um, that's pretty good, and it's stuffed. There's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> it's a lot, and that's a chicken one. They have different flavors. Um, now this is the one thing I didn't try yet. Let's see how this is. This is the chicken tandoori. This is like what I really be hearing about. Oh, and I found me a sweet pea. Oh, I love sweet peas, y'all. Mm. Mm. All right, so let's see how this goes. Mm. It's okay. It's grilled, which is a plus. I like the color on it. See the color? You see like that redness right there? A little green from like the parsley and stuff. Um... All right. Well, let's try one of these sauces. And I'm going to try it just like this. Mmm. Look, it's like chunky. It's got like... Like red onions, white onions. Maybe they done sat in the seasoning so long that they done turned like... Red, like garlic in there. My God, I wish I could really get you guys to focus in on here. I'll get better. Make me want to put it over the rice. So that's what I'm gonna do. Mm. Let's see. Mm. You know what's funny? When I watch people on the mukbang, and some people, I don't even want to say who y'all are. Y'all know who y'all are. Y'all take the ketchup and the sauce, and y'all put it right in your mouth like that. Y'all be drinking it just like that. That's how I feel about this. And that's how I feel about this. Like, mmm. Mmm. You know what? This almost tastes like... Okay. In Hispanic culture, they got sofrito. This is like sofrito, and it's green. I'm not Spanish. Like, I'm telling you. But I eat... I don't play. This tastes good. Like I said, it's refreshing. It's like you can taste everything in it. Mmm. Mmm, good. Look at me, y'all. Mm -mm. All right. Well, chicken biryani, thumbs up. The basmati rice, thumbs up. 
chicken masala, thumbs up. My meatloaf, all hands up. This right here, thumbs down. I'm sorry. All right. Well, I didn't try to. I tried the brown sauce earlier. I didn't really. Let me try it in front of you guys. Let's see, cause I'm gonna see if it tastes different. Maybe now. Let me see. Thank God I'm eating by myself, right, y'all? Mm -mm, that would be so rude. That's worse than double dipping. All right, let me see. Tastes like a. Like a teriyaki, some type of. Like a little smoky teriyaki. Not too smoky, but smoky with those Indian flavors. Okay, see, let me get down to it. What I'm tasting here is everything kind of tastes the same. Everything here kind of... It kind of tastes the same. I just didn't like the texture of the samosa. Something about that basmati rice, this rice, yo, that white rice is good, yo, I don't know. And that masala, that sauce, whew. And I eat hot food. I love hot food. I love spicy food. I eat the jerkish, jerkish chicken. So that's why I said I was really interested because I know, uh, you know, they said Indian cuisine is very spicy. So I was very interested in taking it. And, you know, I'm still interested because you could go to different places and, Different places, you know, they cook different ways. Everybody doesn't cook the same. It could be the same food, but not the actual kick in. You know what I'm saying? When they be like, you put your foot in it. Excuse me. Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, oh, wait, we got to try this too. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's move this out the way. Bye-bye, birdie. You gotta go. All right. I'm gonna just use my fork because, you know. Oh, and you know, traditionally, you're supposed to eat with your hands. And I didn't even eat the naan bread. That naan bread is good, y'all. The garlic naan bread is so good. I'm so sorry I ate it. <laughs> Before I started recording. But anyway, okay, so now this is the rice pudding. Sweet rice, like basically rice pudding. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, sorry, if you can't, I'm trying. It's like creamy. Okay. Uh, let's see. So my grandma used to make rice pudding too. And her rice pudding was bomb. And she used to make it with um, raisins in it. Oh, my kitty cat. Baby, come on, baby. All right, so. Let's see what's going on with this. Well, oh, here we go. Mmm. Hmm. Hmm. I'll give it that. You gotta clean the fork or the spoon, no matter what your utensil is. Even your finger, you gotta be like, sometimes. Sometimes you can't do it. You be like, but that wasn't one of these times, but. Okay. So. I don't know how I feel about that rice pudding. It's ricey. It's sweet. It's got a good taste to it. I, I don't know. It may, I think the texture is just bothering me a little bit. But to wrap this up real quick, my experience with the Indian food was all right. Like I said, I just overall feel like it all has like the same taste. Like... You know, when you eat different cultural foods, um, 
different items on the plate taste different. You know what I mean? So, like, okay, I'm American, black American, so you know that soul food is popping. That macaroni and cheese ain't going to taste like that cabbage. You understand what I'm saying? That roast pork ain't going to taste like that pot roast. That pot roast not going to taste like that good old fried piece of chicken. You understand what I'm saying? It's like different tastes, different tastes. Um, it's just, I just keep getting the same taste over and over again. I think it's like they use like uh, a lot of curry, um, I think cumin, turmeric, stuff like that. That's why a lot of these stuff is yellow. And you know, they eat with their hands. So you see their hands, the tips of their hands are yellow a lot of times. It's fine. I like that. Oh, uh, la, 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 banana leaf. Hi, baby. You always need something good. A good drink to cleanse your palate. That's my tip. Maybe I'll start giving tips too at the end of my show. My little videos. But you always need something to cleanse your palate. So like I said at the beginning. Um, nice, nice homemade iced tea. Freshly squeezed uh, lime. Orange. And a nice, like I said, a nice a vodka or whatever liquor to your liking. Uh, and um, I think that's it. And some good glaciers of ice and a nice straw. Mm. Whew. Now that is two thumbs up. Two, 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 made for you. Two, 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 especially for you. Okay, yeah. But anyway, I'm going to get up off of here. So, sorry that it broke up into two because of the technical difficulties before. I don't know what was going on. But, um, I guess I'll see you guys soon. Hopefully, you guys will like, subscribe, hit the notifications, and make sure you hit all. So that this way, whenever I pop up, you'll get the pop up. You know what I mean? And then, like, I don't know. We just keep on going from there. But thanks, everybody, for supporting, hopefully. And I'll see you soon. Later.